Welcome to today's Minecraft video. Today I'll be showing off what I have for my mansion. I'll be adding on to that. Fly path PE. Hello everybody. My mansion is coming along pretty nicely. Today I'll be giving you a tour of it. I've got my the entrance, which is a four by six piston door. If you want to see how it works, see the four by six piston door video that I will put that is also posted. So, come into my main room. Got nice high domed roof and not a nice amount of stuff. This door leads to the circuitry, but that's not important. So, got my nice grand staircase here. And yeah, this doesn't really go anywhere quite yet. Now, if a monster follows you in because you can't exactly close it from the inside, you can just run up the stairs, get up here, quickly flip the lever, and the monster can't follow you up. But we want the stair out right now. So, we can come in here. Apparently some bats thought it was a good idea to come spawn in here. Gonna have to kill them. Okay, yeah. Clearly gonna have to put some better lighting in today. So you see it's just a nice room. But you're wondering, what is the purpose of this large empty room? It could be a ballroom or it could be like party area, it could be a gym, or it could be what it's built for, a dining room. But you're wondering, where do you eat? And I bet you're also wondering, what is this lever? Those two are related. Put the lever. Voila. It's a big, beautiful table. Now, you've seen pretty much everything in here. Now, I'm going to start adding on to this place. So, I'm going to get some redstone blocks and some redstone lamps. Going to right here. I'm going to need quartz as well. I'm going to just place that there. And then put that there. I am going to do the same over here. Because nobody wants 
bat spawning in the middle of their house. That wouldn't be super exciting. I mean, nobody wants to be in a house that's not supposed to be haunted, but there's bats flying around, so. I mean, bats indoors is something, well, no, nobody likes, but, okay, let's forget about those bats. The room is now nice and well lit. So, that's our dining room. Put this stuff away now. And so, I am going to quickly come over here. This is our balcony. Currently, no way to get to it except by flying up here. And I guess you could maybe get out. Okay, yeah. I don't think that jump is possible, but if you think the jump is possible, you can just let me know in the comments, and in my next video, I will try. So I'm just going to put up a wall here. And now I'm going to build one of the most important parts of any good house. The bathroom. Now I'm actually not going to put the bathroom right there. I'm just going to not break the wall. I'm going to build it towards the edge because some of the stuff I will be designing requires to go under the ground, like under the level here. I will just be building that over here. So I will be building the bathroom over here, and for the sink, I'll just be doing a classic sink. Which uses a cauldron. And with water in it, it also uses tripwire hooks and I know I already said cauldrons, but oh, there it is. I forgot how small it looks on in here. It's annoying. I'm going to put this cauldron here, drip our hook there, and there is our sink. Oh, you can't bathe in the sink, that's sad. Wait, I think I can. I just went in there. Yep, you can go in the sink. Yeah, I'm bathing in the sink. Don't, don't do that at home, though. I doubt your parents would like it. Now... Gonna let's also build a basic toilet. Actually, let's do a cauldron with a lid on it. 
Make sure you're on the potty, not in the potty. And I'm in the potty. I am in the potty. I need to get out of the potty, okay? We got our sink and our toilet. Now, I'm going to build my bathtub slash hot tub. And I have heard that if you put soul sand in under the water, it will actually create bubbles that will rise up carrying you upward. So I've not tried this before, but it's always worth a try. Oh, yep. That definitely is making bubbles. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Wow. Got it. Yeah, I'm only going to do that for bubble bath mode. I'm going to have like a bubble bath mode. I don't need that much bubbles. This is crazy. Okay. I just figured out how I am going to get it done. I am just going to get rid of all this water here. And I'm going to get rid of this little thing. How's going to work is there will be an option for a shallow tub or a slightly deeper hot tub slash bubble bath or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to need sticky pistons and then I'm going to need some dust and then of course a lever. Levers are very important. I can put some quartz there. Cover that up. Now, I will also put a mirror of the same thing over here again three reds and dust and then just gonna break this to make it a little more convenient okay fine to do that and then I will come in and then just break this lower row of pistons then just some soul sand along here and then if I'm correct We should be able to get ourselves nice working bubble bath. Now 
Now let's see, where does this emerge? It merges right here. Or does it emerge right there? Where does this merge? Oh, okay, that's right there. So, yeah, I'm going to have to send it a little further. Okay. Yep, I was expecting to have to use a repeater in there because it's a long wire of redstone without any buffers, so I was not expecting that to work for completely first time. So now I will put the water into our happy little tub. Now we can go in here and bathe. Or let's take a nice bubble bath. Yeah, bubble bath. The power of the bubble bath. Bubble bath, yeah. That is just really nice. Really nice. I'm tired of these bubbles. Nice calm tub. Yeah, that is a lot better. Now, I will be right back because I am going to install some more walls. So it's not just random this. Okay. I installed some walls, and I think this place looks a lot better. Thank you for watching in today's video, The Making of a Mansion Part 1. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Play Path PE says goodbye.